With over a hundred features, the Notion Enhancer is one of the most powerful Notion add-ons that you can get to customize your Notion desktop app. And in this video series, I'm going to be walking you through every single one of these options so that you can decide which one is best suited for your needs. And trust me when I say this, but you'll be kicking yourself for not using the Notion Enhancer earlier because there are some absolute gems in here. And we're starting right now. Now I'm going to walk you through all of the customizable options that are featured under the Notion Enhancer core section. So the first option is auto resolve theme conflicts. Now I like to have this toggled on and if we look at the description of what this is for, it's basically saying that if there's a theme that we've enabled on our Notion desktop app and if there are any other themes of the same mode, i.e. light or dark, they'll be disabled. So I think this is good to have on anywhere because you never really know whether there's a conflict and that's what's causing issues with either your Notion Enhancer or your desktop app. So I think by default, probably just worth having this one turned on. The second option is hide app on open. By default, this is turned off. Now, what this is basically saying is that the app can be made visible by clicking the tray icon or using the hot key. So let me just show you that. So at the moment, if you look down below, we can see the Notion app icon down here and we can see the Notion Enhancer icon in the icon tray as well. So if I go ahead and toggle this, you'll see straight away that we've got this message which has appeared on the top part of the window of the Notion Enhancer. So this happens every single time you change a setting within your Notion Enhancer. For some reason, for the settings to be applied, we actually have to relaunch the Notion desktop app for those changes to take effect. So let's go ahead and do that. All you have to do is just click on this link and it will just do that for you. So instead of relaunching the app, I think it's launched it in the background. So let me just go ahead and double click this. So I think what this feature does is that when you do click on the default icon that comes with the app itself when you double click it it doesn't actually open up the app itself so the way that you can now open up the app is only by going down into the icon tray and clicking on the notion enhancer icon so if I click that as you can see the app has now opened up and you can also see that the icon on the toolbar has now appeared as well so that's what that particular feature does let's go ahead and open up the notion enhancer again and this time around instead of clicking on the icon and then right clicking and going into enhancements I'm just simply going to use a keyboard shortcut which is the alt e and there you go it's open up the notion enhancer window and this is the first section that we were going through so that's what this feature does right so the next setting we're going to go through is auto maximize windows so this again by default is turned off and if we look at the description so what this does is effectively whenever there's a window that's hidden or is unhidden or is created it will be maximized so let me just quickly demonstrate to you what it does at the moment before the feature is turned on and then we'll turn it on and then we'll see what the difference is so what that means is that if we actually minimize our notion desktop app window and we went ahead and closed this and then we tried to open up the app again you'll see that it still opens it up in this minimized view but if we were to actually toggle the menu in the notion enhancers to always auto maximize the windows and we clicked on this and turn it on and then relaunch the app so what you'll see is that when it's relaunched the app it's actually maximized my window instead of opening it up as a smaller window and let me just go ahead and demonstrate that again so if i was to minimize this window and if i close this and i clicked on my notion enhancer icon you can see that it's opened it up in a maximized view i actually find this feature quite useful because most of the time when you do open up your notion desktop app you actually do want to see the full window as opposed to the smaller window that sometimes opens up if you've actually got that view before you close the app so the next feature is close window to the tray and this by default when you install the notion enhancer is actually toggled on and what this basically means is that when we actually go ahead and press the close button or the cross button on the top right hand corner of your desktop app instead of actually closing the app App, all it does is actually minimize the window within the icon tray so let me just quickly show you what that means so if I go ahead and close this so it looks like my notion app has actually closed because I can't actually see the icon for notion within the opened applications tab in the toolbar but if I actually go to my task manager and if I scroll down into background processes, you'll notice two things. You'll notice that the Notion Enhancer background process is still working. That means the Enhancer is active. And if we scroll down, you'll see that the Notion Desktop app icon is also still active, which means that the Enhancer is stopping this process from completely 
closing. So again, I'm not really sure in which particular scenario you'd actually want to be able to use this feature, but it is there if you do want to be able to use it. The next feature we're going to go through is the integrated title bar. And this again, by default is turned on. So what this option basically does is that it completely removes the default title bar at the top of your desktop app and replaces it with this integrated menu bar, which effectively only gives you the option to minimize, maximize, and then close the app. So you don't actually get the options that you see by default on the top title bar. Aesthetically, it does look a little bit more cleaner and slicker. So if you're going for that sort of minimalist title bar view, then I'd recommend that you actually keep this toggled on. So the next option is called tiling window manager mode. And this by default is turned off. And when you look at the description, it basically says that it will completely remove the close, minimize and maximize buttons on the top right hand corner. So if you use this option in combination with the integrated toolbar or the title bar, you'll effectively have no way to actually make any of the changes that you're able to do with these top title bars. I wouldn't necessarily recommend you actually using this particular option, but let me just quickly show you what I mean, right? So if you actually go ahead and click this and we have to relaunch the app, you can see that it is now completely removed the minimize, maximize and the cross on the top right hand corner. And because this is also an integrated title bar, we also don't have any features on the top left hand corner either. So it's created this really focused view without giving us that ability to really close the app using any of the traditional ways that we would normally use to actually close the app using the title bar and if you look at the description of within the notion enhancer the developer themselves actually recommend that if we don't actually understand the real reason for doing this we shouldn't actually use this particular feature so if you have a particular need to be able to use this feature then please go ahead and use this but i personally don't really use this feature because it does restrict you in certain ways as to how you can actually interact with the desktop app so i'm going to go ahead and untoggle this so the next feature is the window display hotkey. Now all this is, is just a simple shortcut on your keyboard that allows you to be able to just close the app and then open the app by simply using this particular combination. You can actually change this particular shortcut to whatever you want it to be. I actually prefer to keep it as a control shift A so I don't accidentally end up closing my Notion app. So all you have to do is on your keyboard, press the control shift and A. And as you can see, it will completely close your Notion app. And if you go ahead and just click on that again, you'll see that it's opened up your Notion app. So it's a very quick way of actually opening and closing the Notion app. I do actually use this from time to time because it does save you time, especially if you're quite a heavy user of Notion. The next option is the open enhancements menu hotkey. So like I mentioned earlier, this is the keyboard combination that you can use to quickly open up this Notion enhancer window. So by default, it's set to Alt E. So if I was to actually go ahead and click that, you can see that it's closed my Notion enhancer window. And if I go ahead and click Alt E again, it will open up my Notion Enhancer window. Again, this is really useful. I definitely recommend that you set this to whatever you think is the most easiest and quickest thing for you to use. I actually think Alt-E is quite a good combination and it definitely saves time because it, it means that you don't have to keep going into the icon tray and then right clicking on the icon just to be able to click on the enhancements menu to open up this window. So it definitely saves you a lot of time. So 100% recommend using this particular shortcut as well. So the last feature within the Notion enhancer core section is the default page ID or URL. So the purpose of this feature is to open up a specific page from your Notion setup every time you open up a new tab or a window that isn't already opening up into a Notion page. Now, when I was testing out this particular feature, I was a little bit unclear as to what new window we would normally open up that would lead to this particular feature being used. However, I did find that it was very effective when you used it in combination with the next section, which is the tabs section. So before I demonstrate to you how we use the tab section alongside this particular feature what we need to do is be able to paste the link in here of the page that we want the notion enhancer to open every time we have a new tab or a window opening up within the notion desktop app so let's just go ahead and get a link to one of the pages from our notion setup now the reason why you'd want to do that is let's say you have a landing page or a home page much like this one that i've got over here and every time you open up a new window you want the Notion desktop app to actually open up on that landing page as opposed to any other page
page that you were previously on before you close your Notion desktop app. So let's say I want this particular page to be showing up every single time I open up a new window or a new tab. All I need to do is go to the top right hand corner, click on the three dots, and then you'll scroll down until you see the copy link. Once you've selected that, I want you to come back into your Notion Enhancer, and then I want you to paste this link in this feature, and that's it. And now let's go into the next section, which is the tab section, so I can demonstrate how the tab section works and also how this particular feature works in combination with the tab section. Question of the day, which one of these Notion Enhancer features are you going to be using as part of your setup? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then make sure you smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video.